In this video I'll be painting up the purple son of Shaish from the Malign Sorceries kit using only Citadel contrast paints. So let's see how that goes and stick around for it. <laughs> Salutations ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy you stuck around for me, I know it's been a while, I had to think to some things to take care of, now they're dealt with. And uh, yeah, some new things happened here in the, the nerd uh, bunker. My fish moved in. Uh, actually, my fish, I haven't had them for a while. I've had them for two months. And uh, that's going great. And I hope you'll enjoy that as a little living backsplash to my videos. And uh, in this video, as I stated earlier in the teaser, I'll be painting up the Malayan sorcery, uh, known as the purple son of Shaish. This is this bacteria looking fella. I'll be painting it according to the uh, artwork. And for that, I'll be using only three paints. I'll try to use only the Contrast Apothecary White, the Magos Purple, and the Vol Volopus? Volopus Pink. Uh, these are all new paints from Citadel. I have had a bit of a go with the Contrast paints. Uh, I did a bit of a short test for myself on these uh, NPCs. I hope the camera will zoom in on them. Um, a little uh, peasant and uh, nobleman used uh, only the contrast paints, uh, except for the metal parts like the, the head of this uh, hoe and uh, the necklace on the noble. They took absolutely a jiffy to paint with the contrast paints and I was really quite surprised at how easy they were to apply and yeah, how nice they look when they're done. Um, as compared to the, the two villagers I painted in my one color one shape technique video, which you can check out up here. It, it goes a lot faster, so uh, if you're a beginner and you just want to get things to a tabletop standard, contrast are the way to go, in my humble opinion at least. Um, yeah, so having tested that, I'm really comfortable now thinking I can paint this purple son of Shaish using only the three colors, so uh, let's get to it and uh, we'll talk more about what's coming next uh, afterwards. So, so here we are with the purple son of Shaish. I'll be painting it like in the image, um, using on the contrast paints. This has been primed with the, the Wraithbone shade, the new one that's made for the contrast paints. And uh, we're just gonna right quick shake the, um, the purple one, the darkest one. I'm gonna start with dark and go to light. So we're gonna start with the, the deepest recesses. Just glob that on there with a um, large shade brush. I do realize that this is not the neatest um, assembly <laughs> that I've ever done. Uh, this is quite a hard model to put together right, I think. Uh, at least for me it was quite the challenge. Even though I'm not even a, a beginner, I found this to be quite annoying to build. <laughs> I have no idea how this will turn out. At the moment it looks more that, uh, like a brain than anything else. So that's kind of weird. The great big magic brain. At this moment I like to s change it up and switch over to the pink one. I'm just gonna apply it while it's still wet to get a bit of blending going on. Again, not really sure how this will, will work out, but um, we're experimenting here. If it's um, too bad, I can always go back and strip it later on, but um, hopefully I won't have to. Hopefully this will look all right. I'm doing this uh, entirely on purpose while it's still wet the other paint uh, to get a bit of uh, wet blending going on. Um, just let it naturally flow where it want to flow and uh, just manage it a bit without going too crazy on, um, on the control. We are just trying to get this um, tabletop ready. This is where we are at the moment. 
kind of looks meh. <laughs> but let's see if we can make it a bit better. Perhaps I should mix in a bit of blue though, just to shake it up. Oh, shiny purple. I had totally forgot that the shyish purple was a thing and this is of course the right paint to use for this so I'm just gonna blend it in with the pink I don't know if this will be entirely black and weird but yeah we're going crazy here let's just see what we can do with this well it does take a bit of the the brainy feel away from it but um, it still looks kind of weird this is obviously the paint I should have started with. I have a weird feeling that this will be nothing like <laughs> the, the artwork. Um, yeah, call that a premonition if you will. But this will look really weird because I started with a light color and added a dark on top of it, I think. But even though it might not work out as in the artwork, could potentially still be something. Otherwise, I'll strip this entire miniature and start over again because it is a model I intend on using, uh, on using for games. Um, and uh, yeah, I want it to look good for that. I wonder when to, uh, when too much is too much, you know. It works uh, quite differently than most other paints and um, it has a, a different drying time and different drying properties so yeah I'm not entirely used to using this yet see that's where we are at the moment looks like a puffer fish oh yeah we're just gonna put some apothecary white on the tips of these things Looks more grey than white to my eye, but um, might be better when it dries. Oh my god, that's terrible. That's when you know you done goofed. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna take the most of this white thing off, that's not optimal. So now we're done with the drying and uh, it looks quite alright, better than I had anticipated and um, well at least after I s made the mistake of applying the uh, the Makers purple instead of the Shaiish purple uh, to begin with and yeah. But uh, I think it was a nice save and uh, I, st I still think this is a bit dark um, for what I want with it, I still want it to look kind of like the artwork and uh, this is a bit dark uh, but it's it's getting there and um, yeah I think we should definitely dry brush this with uh, the Gene Stealer purple uh, to just to bring out the raised edges again and uh, really accentuate all the uh, the warping energies around the orb and then uh, perhaps a really light dry brush of uh, the wraith bone afterwards to really make it look like it's glowing so already I can see that this is really coming along nicely. And it's a super simple technique uh, that basically every everyone and anyone can do. And uh, yeah, we're starting to bring out the purple now. This will catch on all the raised edges and really, really bring out the detailing again, because it, I let it pool a bit uh, much, the, the contrast. I'm still learning how to use it and uh, yeah. I let it pull too much, which made it uh, very dark in areas. But I think when uh, when we go back and really um, just bring it up a notch with the um, with the highlight, that uh, that really makes it worthwhile and uh, actually makes it look quite all right um, with the the darker parts because uh, it becomes very high contrast. No relation to the contrast paints. <laughs> <clears throat> and we don't want to uh, erase all the the pink uh, or all the uh, the white as well. We just uh, we just want to apply this uh, 
quite evenly and, and also just to give it that extra dab of color just to uh, really uh, accentuate that this is uh, the purple sort of shayish not the pink sun <laughs> or the black sort of shayish um, so yeah if I had to do this over I would probably uh, just go with the um, the shayish purple contrast paint first and uh, apply it in a thin layer, maybe even thin it down with the um, the contrast medium, and then uh, see where to go from there. Um, see if uh, two or three layers of that contrast paint alone might even bring out the, uh, the detailing enough. So guys, after a bit of an intermittent break here, I had some technical difficulties. I have now finished uh, with the Jean Steeler Purple. So this is looking better now, definitely. Um, it's still a bit uh, wonky uh, in the distribution of color next to the uh, the artwork, but um, but I think it's coming along all right. I think the last step will be uh, the Wraithbone light dry brush um, and just uh, clean up the the little uh, spikes and. Uh, I'll see if I think it will need another uh, light shade of the Volopus pink uh, to really accentuate the pink like it is in the artwork. Um, but I don't think that will be necessary. But uh, yeah, let's check it out in a bit. So that's the Wraith bone done. And um, yeah, it looks quite nice now. It catches the light on all the edges now. Really cool. And um, the, the light dry brushing of the, the veins going around the orb really accentuates the, uh, the detailing as well. And uh, even though it doesn't came out quite like um, it did in the artwork, I'm uh, quite ex excited about it and uh, I think it looks really rather nice um, for the amount of time used and um, the ease of which uh, it, uh, it took the paint and uh, despite the mistakes made, I think we uh, we did save this quite nicely and uh, this is uh, almost ready for the tabletop. I'll just uh, use my usual Doombull Brown to paint the base. And after that I'll apply the Agrilla and Earth texture just to bring it to a nice finish. And now we're done with the, um, the Doombull Brown and the base is looking uh, nice and brown at the moment, just like dirt. And we'll just apply the Agrilla and Earth uh, to bring the, a, a, bit of, a little bit of texture to it. And that's the purple son of Shaish now done. I just neaten up uh, the trim of the base and uh, used a hairdryer to uh, rush dry the texture on the base and applied some various tufts to bring a bit of life to the base or rather unlife to show that the grass is dead and the ground is cracking and dying. So um, yeah, I'll put this uh, under a more decent light with a white background and I'll just showcase it a bit. Uh, this is uh, honestly I think this is about an hour's effort uh, from start to finish. So uh, yeah, it's not uh, gonna win any uh, painting competitions but uh, this is very well and serviceable for the tabletop and uh, I think it looks uh, quite alright. So that's it for painting the purple son of Shaish for now. I hope you liked the result. I know I did. Uh, I think in the amount of time used, it's uh, very uh, forgiving. Uh, to, it's a forgiving model to paint and uh, the paints themselves uh, work quite nicely. Um, yeah, so um, I think this will be a new series, uh, a short series of, um, of me painting all the, um, the malign sorceries. Uh, one sorcery in each video. I'll try and do it in less than 10 minutes each so it'll be a relatively short video and uh, I'll try and use only contrast paints if at all possible and only uh, metallics otherwise so you can try and see how easy it is to paint something up to a quite decent tabletop standard and uh, we can do some wet blending with them uh, and um, yeah try and, and get something uh, cool looking going with that 
And uh, also in the next couple of weeks, I will be releasing a video on uh, me rebasing my uh, my trees here. I have a whole lot of these uh, pine wood. Uh, I like them a lot, except for the bases. I really dislike these a lot. Um, ugly, horrendous looking things. They take uh, you right out, the, out of the immersion when you put up a gaming table. So what I'm, I'm planning on doing is uh, using a lot of these um, bases I've purchased uh, via AliExpress. Uh, they look like Games Workshop bases. Uh, they're a bit sturdier than that. I have a review on them uh, in a video up here if you want to check that out. They're really cheap. Um, and I'm gonna slap some um, cork on that and some rubble and uh, little uh, rocks and stuff. I'm gonna spray paint them. I'm gonna paint them with uh, technical paints and uh, contrast paints. I'm gonna yank some tufts on there and some flock and get something cool looking going. I hope, hopefully, it'll look like a like a forest when I'm done. Uh, and also, I'll be uh, setting up a new uh, cinematic table. Oh, we lost someone uh, with this new uh, windmill that I've gotten. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that. From the uh, foreground, we can get a bit of a closer look here. If you bear with me, digger, 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 doop, da da. And this spins and everything. So this is um, made from MDF from the company Foreground. And if you want to see me do an entire review on this, let me know in the comment section below. If uh, there's something else you're really excited to see or you want to see in the future, again, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll uh, I'll see uh, if I can get right around to it. Um, yeah, I've changed uh, a lot of my paints out with contrast paints now, so I have uh, the entire range. So I'm ready to paint whatever with the contrast paints. Uh, I have kept uh, some of the the old style paints for my Iron Jaws army because I'm kind of going with a the theme there, and uh, yeah. I hope you liked this video. If you did like it, consider leaving it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to follow me on some of the new uh, video series I'll be, be doing. And uh, you can check out my Instagram on my uh, YouTube banner. You can also check it in the description below. And I hope to see you in my next video. And then all that's left to do is just remember in the immortal words of Confucius, life is so simple, but we insist on making it complicated. So try to make it less complicated and uh, yeah, see you in my next video.